fantastic. The only thing I don't like about them is they don't have an antenna tuner built in. No, that they do not. They do not have a built-in antenna tuner. They also don't have any customer support. <laughs> they also don't have a bunch of their uh, owners um, There's a lot uh, left to be desired uh, with the Anons, but I like it. They're not really that user-friendly, though. Um, I'll be the first one. But once you get it all set up, it's okay. You know, but yeah, good, uh, good deal on the uh, on the uh, the G76 and the um, the new antenna. Yeah, you sound good. You sound great, actually. Good signal as always. And yeah, we have some really, really new. They're about to be here any second, actually. It seems like there's been about five thunderstorms that are just popping up right over my QTH uh, since about lunchtime. And it's just been raining constantly here. Um, and then right behind that, another one, there's a big line of really nasty storms coming. So, I'm probably going to end up disconnecting soon. Been disconnect I mean, like, disconnected and reconnected all day, it seems like. Uh, but, anyway, yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be in here. Dinner's almost done. I just came down messing around, bored, before I did disconnect again. But anyway, yeah, man, sounds good. Um, don't you have a flex, don't you? Well, put the big rig on. Hold on. Ah, oh, it's tuned up well enough. Um, W3MMR from NTGTS. Oh, yeah, I've had the Anons. I've had the Flexes. Uh, I'm working on getting a 5,000 uh, on QTH. I told the guy I'd take it, but uh, this is a busy weekend, but... Uh, the two receivers and a tuner in it, and I really like the uh, the antenna tuner. I like the three antenna ports. I like the separate receive antenna port, and I don't have a problem with FireWire. So I know they kind of suck on 160. I got all kinds of like weird stuff going on on 160, but I don't have room for a 160 meter antenna anyway. The Anons are great because they go Ethernet, which is great and no special uh, interface and they have all those antenna connections the only thing is is they don't have a tuner you know so if you want to run it barefoot into uh into something they just don't have a tuner w3 mmr into dts is up from from 50 watts to uh 300 watts carrier yeah well you sure came up <laughs> went from 15 over to about 30 over so um Um, well, yeah, good deal. Yeah, I know you've had a lot of, I and mean, I've heard you mention about some of the rigs you've had. Watch, I assume, um, yeah, you have one at the, at the house at the moment, or, I remember you were messing around with some other one not long ago or something, I thought. I don't know, every time I talk to you on something different, so it's hard to, it's hard to keep track. <laughs> I wish that was my, I wish I could say that every time. I could be on something different every time I was coming on the air. Um, but, uh, but one day, I'll, I'll gather, gather some more junk here in the shack. Um, but... I don't see. I don't really. Uh, I don't run. You know, barefoot. Anyway, really. Well, that's a lie. I guess if I'm running, you know, the the DX100 or like an you know an older rig like that. But um, I'm always running an amplifier. So um, 
using it. I always have the external, you know, the other, my other antenna tuner here, so a uh, internal antenna has never been desirable to me, you know what I mean? I just don't, I, I don't have a, a use for it, but there's a lot of people that, excuse me, there's a lot of people that do, you know, and you being one of them. So, I would imagine, it, you know, I would think, number one, I don't know why Anon hasn't had any remoting capabilities, you know, they haven't um, worked on any remoting capabilities, okay, in their software updates. And number two, I'm very surprised that they don't have a built-in antenna tuner, because you think that they would, I'm trying to be in, in, in uh, excuse me, in competition with Flex, you know? So, it just seems like uh, there's a few things that would be very desirable to, a, you know, a good amount of people that they, they just don't have, and they don't have a good explanation as to why. Yeah, the static crashes are getting really intense. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, they really, they're really not their own company. They, you know, they took on a... Uh, that project, that open source project, and uh, and kind of just started building it. They're not really, uh, you know, the brains behind the operation. They're more like the brawn. So unless somebody comes up with a design and they can just copy it and build it or whatever, I guess they don't yeah. really do that. You know, what do they got? They got two radios they sell now, or one or two, or you know, like that's pretty much it. Like they used to have. Um, they used to have the 10, the 10E, like whatever happened to them? Why don't they keep making the, the Anon 10, the 10E? Uh, they had the uh, 100 and 200 Bs and Ds. Um, I had, uh, I had the, I think it was a 200B as a bargain, you know. It was, I think it was a 14-bit single receiver. Uh, things and I was looking at one uh, on online for sale. It was uh, 200. Um, 200 D uh, with the dual receivers and all. And like I'm thinking, like, well, that'd be pretty nice, you know. It's got all the antenna ports. And I look at it, I say, well, I don't have a tuner at all. If I want to even drive like one of the one of the homebrew rigs. Um, yeah, you know, I'll have to put a tuner in line or make uh, something, you know, make it uh, happy. So I, I don't have a problem with the support. I don't need the support for the radio. You just download the software and the radio pretty much works. It's pretty easy to figure out that stuff. Um, but if I had an antenna tuner, and I guess, you know, I guess you can get an outboard one, but the inboard one's like kind of nice. Another box, you know, more cables. Uh, and for the price, I think, you know, um, a Flex 5000 would probably be pretty good. You know, the receiver's getting a little a little old, but for AM use, uh, you know, it's great. Does six meters. Uh, be able to do diversity, uh, I guess, with the, with the dual receive. Um, yeah, something to play with. I never had the... Um, I never had the 5000 with the dual receive, so... We'll see, but, uh, yeah, you would think there would be more companies making some more nice, uh, nice SDRs, but, uh, they're all real expensive, or, they're, you know, Japanese companies just aren't, they're, they're, they're offering a, a, a rice box and an SDR, you know, no high fidelity, no AM tricks and all that, so, anyway, yeah, give me three and more, uh, well, I'm into DTF. Yeah, I think it would make this my last one. This lightning is getting real close. And old man just texted me. He just had a <coughs> straight right next to the house, and there's power's out now. So, I'm just looking on lightning maps, and this lightning is getting closer and closer. And closer. It's a safe thing to probably uh, pull the plug here. Um, but uh, I'm, that's what, I'm running a 200D. That's what... Uh, that's what I'm uh, running the 200D, and I don't know. I, I, your 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 guess is as good as mine as to why they quit making all the other models. They only have the 7000 DLE and the 8000 DLE now, but they have like uh, the 7000 DLE and the 7000 DLE Mark II. 
excuse me, and well, they have, you have two models for, excuse me, two versions of each, the 7000 and the 8000. One version that doesn't have a computer built in, and the other one has, you know, Windows 10, um, <clears throat> i7 processor, you know, uh, uh, computer built in. Which is, you know, a pretty cool idea. I, I wouldn't want the computer built in, but, I, you know, I have a, a, fr a friend of mine who just got um, a Mark II 7000, and with the computer built in, he likes it, uh, apparently, so, uh, so, you know, to each their own, but, um, you are right, uh, you, you made a good point about, um, how they bought, you know, how they took over that open source project. It's all hams, you know, that, 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 that do all the programming on, you know, like Power SDR, and now they have Power SDR things, which is what I'm running with the newest software for the Anons. Um, you know, it's just got time. It's not like, you know, they're not company driven, you know, they have a big staff, you know, um, so forth, they're like, they're completely out, completely out, you know, um, so these guys are just doing it on, on what people are telling them to do, basically, if they get enough, you know, um, interest in, in one thing or another, they're up, they'll add it to, you know, an update for software, so, um, it's not like, you know, they have guys working on it, you know, 24 hours a day. Bunch of guys that are just doing it in their in their basements, basically, you know. Uh, so, which is also pretty cool, I think. But um, yeah, I, I don't know why they stopped making all these other models, man. They got a lot of them out at one point, like four or five different models, six different models, and now they have two. But this 200D has been great. I love this thing. This thing is uh. need a, like the 8000 is a 200 watt radio, I don't need a 200 watt radio, this 100 watt radio does that drive everything I need, you know, so, <clears throat> anyway, I'll turn it back over to you, Brett, uh, and I'll listen now for your final, I'm going to get on out of here, and uh, pull the plug, and uh, maybe we'll be back later, maybe we won't, but the way the radar is looking, you know. anyway, man, I hope you had a good 4th of July, too. Into DTS, it'll be a 3MMR. Okay, yeah, the lightning crashes seem to have subsided a little bit. Uh, slightly, but yeah, I was okay, but uh, I had to go to work, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But, uh, and you know, on a Thursday, really, um, you know, I should have took Friday off as well, but then I, I got, I had to work Friday night. They closed. I was starting to fall asleep, um, you know, for, for trouble ticket, and that's the way it goes, but, all right, yeah, we'll, uh, see what's happening with the weather, and it's supposed to be some pretty violent weather approaching, so, hopefully the new antenna will stay up. If not, I'll just put it right back up there. Uh, 73 is there, Perry. Uh, yeah, that's a nice radio. Nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, nothing wrong with that. Even, even barefoot, I think you could have, a, a lot of fun. Maybe not on 80 meters at night, but, uh, other bands, uh, in other modes. Well, 73 is and, uh, pull the antennas down and hunker down. NTDTS clear with W3MMR. Turn the stuff off. Yeah, hi, Brett. Take care, man. And, uh, good talking to you. Sound great. We sounded great earlier, and then sounded great on the big rig, and, and it's always a pleasure. Take care. We'll talk to you real soon. Yeah, keep an eye on our man, Cosby. Because if they're saying it's going to be nasty, it sure looks nasty on the radar, so. We'll talk to you a little bit later on. NTVT will be at 3 and 73.